think I can see myself. Well, hi, I'm Michelle Wells. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator from Tasmania, Australia. Um, how are you all today? Hopefully I'm on one here. Yep, I am. I'm live. So, I'll just have a little, just check to see, I'll just wait a few minutes to see if somebody pops on. I'm in a little bit early, I know, so I think about five minutes. Hi Donna, how are you? Yeah, about five minutes, so I'll just wait a few more minutes. Hi Margaret, how are you? So you haven't got the wild weather over there, Donna, where you are? Because I know um, in Sydney where my son is, it's got storms and and that. So, yeah, I've been on the... actually messaged him this morning to see um, if, yeah, he wasn't affected. He said it's not as bad where he is, but um, it's meant to be a really bad storm this afternoon. So, yeah, so for all the people that are in Sydney... Take care and stay safe. So, you had a storm but not too much. Oh, that's good. So, yeah, no, it's been... We we were expecting rain here today, so um, there was no rain. Um, and it's actually come out cloudy, but it's a little bit cool. Well, for me, I think anything's a bit cool, so... But anyway, I'm going to just check and see if I can't find myself on here. And I think I need to turn my notification, my sound down, so because it's beeping at me. So I'll have a look, see if I can find. So has anybody been crafting today? I've I had the day off work, so I've been. So I think there's another forecast later as well. Well, that's what Jared said that there was um, one late this afternoon. Um, Sometimes, like, you can watch on TV and it says a different thing. So I thought it was late this morning that it was meant to be. But, um, yeah, no, it wasn't. So, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to, when I find myself, actually I'll pop up here and have a look. So there I am there. So I'll just share to a page and... Then I will um, get started. So, you had a scrapbooking class of shimmer paint. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, I'll share to a page. I'm actually looking at myself on my laptop. I think I need a haircut. It's starting to annoy me, so... Um, yeah. Okay, that's shared to that one. And one more. Okay, come on. This internet's been so slow. So, okay, right. And post that one. There you go, I found myself. So, Anyway, okay, all done. So, hi Gail, how are you? I think I said hi Margaret. If I didn't, well, hi again. So, but, um, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to um, flip the camera around and um, pop you down and um, we'll get started. So, here I go. You can probably see it outside my window. And... I'll pop you down. So hopefully, okay. Yes, I know. I'm tilting the camera. And it says, "Hi, Julianne. How are you? Hi, Gail. Hopefully, that's in view. I'll just sit down for a little minute and have a little look. So, anyway, while I'm waiting for this to all catch up, um, if you haven't got a demonstrator and you live in Australia, um. And, um, yeah, like I said, you haven't got a demonstrator. Um, I can pop one of these, or both of these, out in the mail. This one only goes till the end of um, the 2nd of January, because we've got a new one coming. 
um, but if you'd like the new one as well, um, I'll put all the links on my page after the live, um, so where you can join my mailing list, so, so yeah, so, anyway, I'll pop those aside, my craft room's all nice and clean at the moment, so, okay, the first card I'm going to do, I'm going to do a different one, is these little cards here. It's a tea bag, um, tea bag tree. So, but I've made these two, but I'm going to do a completely different one again. So, I'll just have a quick look, see if I haven't. Hi, Kathy, how are you? Just make sure I haven't missed anybody. So, but yeah, so I'm going to make um, one of these today. These are the two that um, that I've already made. So I'll get started with those. So I'll pop them aside. I'll pop them back over here. And I've actually used, um, in this one, we're just going to use the sentiment out of um, like the beautiful baubles. So we're just using Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, I think. Yeah, we are. So... I'll pop that one aside because I don't need that one now. So, hi Lisa, how are you? Thanks for joining. So, oh, that one's to the next card. Better pop that one back there. I'll give you a sneak peek, peek before I... So, I'm going to put all my measurements on my blog when I pop this on. But um, to do the little, like the little tree here... We've got three little um, squares, and this one's a three inch, this is two and a half, and this is two. So I'll go through the folding. I'll fold that before I glue anything else down. So, all you do is you fold, hopefully I'm in, in view. So all you do um, is you go, like, fold corner to corner. And it's pretty easy, this card. So, oh, this card. And then you unfold it, and then you take it to the opposite corner. I've actually got a bone folder coming in, the, like, in an order that I ordered yesterday. So, along with a whole heap of ink pads. So, I think I've only got another ten to get, and I'll have all colours. And then we're just going to fold it the opposite way. And so, like you've got, if you look at it, you've got a like a triangle in each corner, like in each section. So, so all you do is, yeah, these two corners, like this part here, you just, you're taking them in. And then you just do the same with the other side. And you take it in. So if I open it up again, I'll show you. So you just got a square. So you're leaving this here triangle and this area triangle, but you're just taking the insides in. And that's your first one. I'm not sorry, not your first one. Then you grab this little flap here. Um, and then you just take that and you're folding it in. So if I bring it up a bit, you'll see what I mean. So... So it's and then you just take the other side, and there you go. You got your bottom part of your tree. So I'll do the next one. So I thought I'd do the whole tree of them so you could see um, how to do it. So the same principle with the next size down. Sorry, I'm back. Sorry about that. I don't know what somebody's tried to ring me. It's always the way. So, anyway, like the same principle I've done, like, I've corner to corner, um, and then, like, fold and fold. So, anyway, so I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to take that one in. What am I doing? So, I'll take, hopefully I'm back. Origami, I feel like these are the beginning folds of making a crane. 
I'm not making a crane today. So, or you're talking, not talking about um, the bird. <laughs> so, okay. So I'm just going to fold. Like I said, they're pretty easy. So, so that's that one. So hopefully I'm back. Please let me know that I'm back. But it's still going on my laptop, so. Um, I am back Gail I just hope that I'm back on your end or somebody's not trying to ring me again oh thank you <laughs> so so I'm just going to do and these are very effective in all sorts of different um, like papers too so but um this is one that I made, my very first one I made years ago, um, and it's out of like a different paper, but um, yeah, so, and I, when I was cleaning my laundry a few weeks ago, I actually come across um, all these things that um, I had in my laundry, so it's amazing what, because I had it all in my laundry because um, I moved all the I cleaned all this room out because um, I redone the craft room and um, we painted it and everything like that so yeah so I found all sorts of things so but yeah but um, that's it so that's all you do so I'll put these together so I need my Tombow so if you wanted to, like this tree is um, like it's 3D, so like, um, and it does fold down flat to pop in a card, but you could, um, my other one here, I actually did glue parts of it down, so if you can see, but if you wanted to, you could, you could glue them all down if you wanted to, but um, totally up to you, but I like this 3D effect, so... Alrighty, all I'm going to do is pop a little bit of glue, if it comes out, a little bit, that's it, oh, a little bit, for me a little bit doesn't, um, doesn't work, so, and then you're just lining them up virtually, so, And like trees aren't ever, um, if you look at a Christmas tree, they ain't never like in line anyway. So, okay, just a little tiny bit. And there's your tree. So it's as quick as that. So lucky that hadn't um, glued down. So. Okay, I'll set, sit that aside to dry. Thanks for all the hearts, ladies. I really appreciate it. Um, and like I said, um, if you share my page and um, click like, uh, click share in the comments and like my page, um, you'll go into a, a draw that which will be drawn next week. Um, I'll draw it on my next live to go in the draw to um, win some of these snowflake um, trinket, trinkets, trinkets. So, so yeah, very cute. So, yeah, if you like and share my page um, and type share in the comments, um, you'll go into um, the draw to win those. Alrighty, so like I said, this DSP is out of the um, Joyous no Noel um, Designer Series paper. So I'm going to use this side today. So I'll just glue that onto the base. Like I said, I'll put all my measurements on my blog when I put this on later. So, And um, I'm going to I'll pop the video on there as well so um, you can see what I've done. So, all I do is put that on there. So. so, 
So has anybody been crafting today? So, so I'm not quite sure. I've been playing around with this one. Like I haven't done this cardstock yet, um, this DSP yet. So I was, I think I'm going to go that way. Or that way. So what do you think? So that way with the green or that way with the white because I'm going to have a little sentiment. Um, hello Lorraine, how are you? That's okay. The replay will be there for you to watch later. So because it is going to have like a little green like sentiment. So if I stick that like that, maybe you might be able to either that way or that way. I think I'm going towards the green. You prefer the green? Yeah, no, I I I was when I cut out a um cut out the white one, I thought Actually, I could probably put the green behind there because the others have got, like, they haven't got the glimmer paper. So, alrighty, we'll go green. So, okay. So, I'll stick my tree onto the, um, actually, before I do that, I reckon that might be too much now, so I won't worry about that. So, I'm going to stick my tree to my glimmer. Paper. Make sure I'm gonna make sure it's it's even. Okay. Okay. I'll hold that for a little minute. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I had that. I used. Um, I was going to use that one on this one here, um, but um, yeah. But I like to try different ones. So, and it's amazing. I like to have a bit of. Since I've had this glimmer, I think um, Julia got me onto the glimmer paper, and since I've been um, like. I've got it. It's been really nice. So I'll sit that aside to let that dry. So I'm going to um, stamp the sentiment. I've already got that on a um, block. So I'm going to... What colour did I do? I might do that one in black because I... I think there's too much green and gold and... Oh... Actually, I might try. I'm going to try um, the Merry Merlot on that and see what it what it looks like. So I'm going to stamp off and just have a double check. Oh, look now I've got ink everywhere. Okay. First thing I, I get the ink out and what happens? I, I get my fingers in it all first time around. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp on really quickly. So, uh, and I buggered that one up. So, I had a bit of hair on my stamp. So I'll get that off. I'm going to turn it over and go again. Here I go. That's better. So I reckon, yeah, it looks better. Okay. Wipe that off. Hi Kaylee, how are you? What's it like down Hobart? So I'll shut that 
because I know what I'm like with the um with the ink pads. I'll have them everywhere. Alrighty, so I'm just going to glue this to the base of the um yeah that side. I'm just going to glue that to the base. And I found you've got to be really quick with the it sticks to the glimmer paper really quickly, so you've got to make sure you lined it up really well. There's not much wiggle room. There you go. Oh, actually made a liar of me then. Oh, come on. Okay. Actually, I've got a hair that's attached to me. It just won't come off. <laughs> stuck on my finger. It's beautiful down there. Thanks, Kaylee. Your your two um, little children are so gorgeous. They're grown, a bit like my boys, my grandsons. They're growing too. So <laughs> it does, Lisa. Okay, so all I've done is pop that on dimensionals. Um, I've lost those. No, I haven't. I'm having trouble with my my Mary Merlot. It doesn't want to close sometimes. I'm going to make sure it's um. So all I'm going to do is pop three dimensionals up on there and I'll sit that one there for a minute and I did the same on the back of um, here so I'm just going to pop four dimensionals on there and down in here and here and here and the lid on that glue because I don't need that anymore. That's it. So line that up there so I can actually get it straight. I'm going to pop him up a bit here. Okay, that's where that's going to go. And then my dog's not very happy because I've locked her out of the craft room. Um, and the planes have been going over today one by one and she's been barking. So if I left the door open, she'd you'd hear her barking. So she hates planes. Poor thing took her out the beach when she was a little puppy and um, I think I told you that story before so hopefully that's straight no oh, look. could have been over a little bit more I'll fix that up anyway later so so there you go that's that card so very quick and easy and it's I think it looks very effective so so there's those three cards that I made the other two the other day and um, yeah so which one which one would be your preference so you love the design thank you okay you have a good night's sleep I'll have to do it on another time when you can um, it's not bedtime for you Lisa but thanks for popping in anyway so Sweet dreams. So, so anyway, so that's those three. So, so I've got some Christmas cards now that I can um, post out to some special people. So, so yeah. There goes my phone. I might just go check that. Um, I'll be back in a sec.
sorry ladies, if I didn't answer it, I would have been cut off again. So, so. anyway, I'm back. So, you like them all? You like the red one? Yeah. I reckon out of my favourites, I think I like this one here. So, I just, yeah, I just wanted to make them all different. So, but yeah. So, anyway, so that's those. So, I'll pop them aside. And the other little one we're going to do, um, I've already pre-cut everything um, for this one. So I'm going to use um, the beautiful baubles and I'm going to use the sentiment out of the cookie cutter Christmas um, and I'm going to make this little card here but I'm going to do it in um, and I'm going to use the stamper artist as well so I've been getting really you're right Wendy so that's okay I know you've been busy thanks <laughs> yeah I had fun um, you like the white one the best as well yeah the, the one that I liked yeah it's I mean they're all different I just wanted to try some different ones you'll try gorgeous I knew what you meant so what you had gorge puss uh, it's a gorge puss <laughs> sorry but anyway I'm gonna make this one and um, like I said I'm gonna use the stamparatus so I'm just using the bauble out of here and I'm using the sentiment warm heart felt greetings for a very Merry Christmas um, as for the sentiment so alrighty pop those aside and I'll get my stamparatus so, and I still haven't ordered my new magnets yet so but anyway it's so all good so I've already pre-cut um, my pieces for this one so I just need my need my um my stamp so i'm gonna pop i'll pop that underneath there so i've got something to lean on so i'm just going to get my piece of paper i've already pre-done where i need to sit him so i've already marked out my little area so i'm gonna just pop my little magnets on making sure that they don't meet one another again so then I'm just going to pop my um, my, my bauble there, Move it over a little bit more. Actually, I'll turn it around a little bit. Okay, and then I'll just pick him up. And I'm going to stamp in um, blueberry bushel because um, I've got the blueberry bushel background as well, like the cardstock. So, you like the white one too? Yeah. So, I'm just going to um, ink up the um, bauble. I'm going to, I'm actually going to make a set of um, all different little Christmas cards like this. Um, and do a little pack so okay so I'm just going to press that down hopefully it is in the middle and then just give it some pressure so you can't go wrong with a stamper artist it's pretty easy so, <laughs> I've actually just got a, a thing pop up um on my thing here, I better just pop out of it. Angie's, um, was that, no, Wendy shared my <laughs> video, it's popped up on my page. Wendy actually can't get out of it. Oh, yeah, it's gone now. Okay, so hopefully, yep, Ooh. I need to write myself a note, close the, the um, ink pads because. I've got blue all over my hands now. Okay, so that's that done. 
I want to get rid of that. I know where the hairs come from now. It's come off the wet one, so right. Grab my um, simply chamois. And give that a wipe. And get all that off. Okay. Okay. So that's that done. That's all I need that for. So I didn't do too bad of a job. Might have, might trim that down a little, just a tiny little bit. So, hi Angie, thanks for joining. So, might just pop, cut that down just a tiny little bit because it annoys me, it's not centered. But that's okay. Not going to hurt the, um, that's better. And I, I don't know if anybody else, I, um, yeah, I, I'm waiting for my um, blades to come for my trimmer. Um, but they're on low, um, low stock or something. Low emphatore, whatever that word is, I can never say it. So, I'm going to, I need this again, because I need to do my sentiment. So, take that one out. Pop them back in there. So did you get crafting done, Angie? You're home in time to watch. So did, did you have fun crafting with Linda? So, okay, I've lost me, me stamp. Okay, pop that on and make sure it's up the right way. So stamp him in um, the same colour, blueberry bushel. So stamp him. There you go. Oh, that looks straight. Okay, so I'll wipe that. Put that aside. So I'm going to um, pop this piece on here. Let that dry. I've lost my ink. Oh, my ink. Right, the blue piece, I'm just going to um, glue to the, the base. So. up there in the corner or it won't glue. So pop that to the it's probably gonna be a tiny little bit smaller on one side than the other but I know it's not it's gonna be good. Okay make sure it's the right way around. Yep. So what did you do today? To have have fun doing all sorts of things. Actually, sorry, I've just got to pop out of this. Oh, a little tab comes up and so. Okay, so then I'm gonna um, glue this piece down as well. Because I'll cut this a little bit, but it's not going to matter because it um, actually gives looks a little. So that's that part. Actually, and then I'll glue my my bit this piece down. I don't know. 
Does that look a bit... Does that look straight to you? Or is it a bit wonky or is it just my eyes? You made Christmas stockings? Oh, that sounds like fun. Wish I had... I'm, I'm going to go and find some um, crafting buddies. So... I think I might do that again, that one, because it's it's just a bit lopsided. So I'm going to try to get it straight on my stamp this time. Stamp pad. Right. I'm going to do it again because it wasn't very straight. So I think that's the OCD in me. Everything's got to be perfect. And it's probably ones. Oh no, that's better. Very good. I think I need one of those. My husband's just turned up. I'm going to get one of those um, signs that's saying um, video in progress. Please don't come in. So I've done it anyway. Looks good to you. Yeah, it's a bit too high up. But this one looks better, so I'm going to go with that one. Yeah. Plus, I'm going to be giving these ones away, um, and I want to do a good job. So, I don't want to have them slapped up, so. <laughs> anyway. So, that one's there. And then I just popped him up on dimensionals. And um, Then I just set that down at the bottom. Hopefully that's straight. Yep. And then I used the um oh I can't think what it's called. A punch. I will find it. I've actually lost it. It was in here somewhere. I did pop it back, but it could be anywhere now. Right. I used this punch here um, and cut the little um, the little bow out. So I just wanted to um, yeah, do a different um, design. And I used the little dimensionals to pop that up. Yeah, I'm actually quite liking this one too, Donna. I um, I I've been getting them out and been like doing cards, like um, and I thought to myself, I need to do something with that one, and um, I quite like the colours, uh, the the blue and like the red, and so all I done is I popped it up there, and um. Yeah, just give it a little bit of, um, and I think you don't really need to do much, um, like with this to, um, yeah, make it a, a cute little card and a quick and simple one. Like you could do a whole heap of those, um, if you, yeah, sat there one day and just like, um, yeah, got your stamper artist out and. I'll do the rubber technique. I like this one. I think the rubber cup works in. So there you go. So that was that one. And the other one that I made, I've lost. And that was that one. So very quick and easy cards. So that, that one there I glued down. And this one I decided to stick up on dimensionals. I just thought I'd do two different, um, two different ones. So, 
but yeah but no very fun little technique so um, I was going to show you something um, I'm working on something else but I can't show you at the moment because um, I'm going to do that in my live next week um, but but yeah so but I really had fun um, yeah doing these but I am going to try doing one with the Christmas tree. Um, but see, that one will be finished. But maybe I could do one out of the. Um, oh, where is it? The um, gorgeous as a tree, or not rooted in nature. I reckon um, that one. If I done a, um, but then that probably wouldn't be very, very big. That Christmas tree. I'm trying to think what other ones we have a Christmas tree in because the. Um, the other one will be no longer available after um, Friday, so yeah, but um, I can't even find that one now anyway, so I can actually have a look. We don't seem to have, I don't have a big Christmas tree one, so, but yeah, so, um, oh, the winter woods, that, that one. I was going to try one with the Winter Woods um, Christmas tree, so um, hopefully they bring this one back because this one's quite a cute one. I love the tree, so. But um, I was going to do um, one of these with the Christmas tree, so. But yeah, so what do you think? <laughs> but anyway, so I'm actually not on very long today. I'm, it's a quite quick video, um, but. Um, this is what I've done today, so, but they're the cards that I made just then with, or that one I made just then with you, and, um, these ones here, so, so there you go, so that's what I've done today, well, today and the other day, so, um, like I said, if you type, shared, and, um, like my page, and type shared in the comments, you're going to the draw to win um, the little um, snowflake trinkets which um, I'll draw and um, announce the winner next Wednesday when I do my next live um, and if you're interested in purchasing any, any of these products um, I'll pop all the links on my page um, like on this live after I um, get off but um, if if you were interested in joining to get all these products for free um, you can join um, join my um, team and you can get $235 worth of products for $169 um, or if you don't want to do that you can um, just buy all the products at normal price um, but yeah if you um, join um, you get hundred like I said two hundred and thirty five dollars worth um of products for hundred and sixty nine dollars plus you get free shipping and you get an ongoing twenty percent off all orders after that. And if you um what's it gonna say? Plus like if you join, um the new catalogue comes out on the fifth of December for us demonstrators. You can actually um like purchase those before everybody else in um, January so but um, like I said if you'd like to um, if you haven't got a demonstrator and you live in um, Australia I'd be happy to send out a catalogue to you but I'll pop all my um, all my uh, yeah, information on um, this page and it'll be on my blog as well so but yeah so anyway I might um, I might just say goodbye for now because I was sort of a bit worried coming on today because I thought I'd start coughing. I've, I've actually developed a bad cough again so I'm actually like drinking a bit and that I've actually got over that so I thought well I'll, I'll do a quick video today and um, because I didn't didn't feel very well last week and I'm feeling a lot better today so so yeah so anyway Thanks for joining me and um, yeah, if you've got any questions, um, yeah, please message me and I'll, I'll answer anything for you. So, but yeah, so all right.
with saying that, um, I'll say goodbye for now and um, I'll catch you next week. Bye.